Siblings have a tendency toward jealousy for one another, particularly when the other's toys are involved. Elders of the universe are no exception. Endwigast, or the Grand Master as he is more commonly known, spared subtlety when he came to the battle realm, instead interrupting the Collector's new tournament face to face, claiming the battle realm for his own and his younger brother a fraud. Working with Loki, he began to subvert the contest, destabilizing what structure there was and using honeyed words to convince the summoners to betray their steward. He presented a compelling point. Had the battle realm not been a place of chaos under the collector's watch, the Universal Gamesman presented a world where the contest would come to an end once completed, should he have his way. It was a convincing argument, made only more so by the Grand Master's great reveal. He had been stealing the energy of the Isosphere all along. Now equally matched, the Grand Master began to sway the battle realm in earnest. At first, he simply poked and prodded at the weaker sinews of the Collector's dominance. As the summoners and champions fought, more and more found themselves drawn to the Grand Master's side. As the Collector's House of Cards began to falter, he aligned himself with criminals and began to mind control or crystallize any of those that would defy him. He was overrun by the Grand Master's plotting, just as the gamesman had intended. The Grand Master used a certain summoner, the one who had defeated the Maestro to bring his brother to his knees. He encased the Collector in a crystal and let loose his claim of ownership to the battle realm. The games had begun. Shortly, the denizens of the contest learned that they had traded a meandering despot for a focused one. Those who had sided with the Grand Master found little in the way of kindness or advantage, simply placed first in line for the suffering. In response, heroes and summoners found allies in each other and worked to disrupt the gamesman. A unique crystalline structure was discovered, dormant power in interlinked splinters, believed to be part of the first brick laid in the Battle Realm's construction, the Cornerstone. While the summoners played along with the Grand Master's game, distracting him from the efforts of the heroes, Doctors Strange and Voodoo set to collecting the Cornerstone splinters with their allies. With most of the pieces collected, the summoner came face to face with the Grand Master. He posed a final game, defeat his champion, and he will permit the Cornerstone be reconstructed by the summoners. Fail? and it would become the Grand Master's weapon to use as he saw fit. Ultimately, the Grand Master's hubris would lead to his defeat. But he would not be so easily swayed from his position. Dismissively, he let the champions rebuild their cornerstone. But its reconstruction revealed that it was not an object. 